Hi guys! So this is the incredibly belated part 2 of my Iron Daughter book review Esther song thing. It's only like, you know, a month late and I'm wearing a completely different outfit and I for some reason felt like having my hair out. I'm sitting in the right location though with my Harry books. Um, speaking of Harry, certainly getting pumped for Deathly Hallows part 1. I bet all the Harry fans are. And I do plan on seeing uh, Deathly Hallows Part 1 and 2 in honour of Esther, who is the nerd fighter who passed away last month. Um, it's an idea that some nerd fighters have come up with, and I think it's a really, really sweet way to pay tribute to her and how much she loved Harry Potter. So, definitely going to be doing that. I traditionally see my Harry films three times in a cinema. It's just a thing that's kept going since the first film came out, so definitely three times for Deathly Hallows and I'm going to be crying like a baby in part one and two. Anyway, um, I know I'm probably meant to sing because for some reason I made that promise in my last video title. It was just a ridiculous idea I had at the time and now I'm going to have to see it through, which is embarrassing. Um, but for now I'm going to do a library haul because uh, even though I have countless dozens of books on my shelves that I could read and haven't read yet, um, I went to the library and just went a little nuts, which is stupid, but it's how I roll. Okay, so, stuff I've picked up. I am currently reading Beastly, which I've meant to read for several years now because I love my fairy tale retelling, so, Alex Flynn's book, and, you know, it's, it's alright, it's okay. It's nothing incredible, but I'm enjoying it, and I really like these things where she's got the um, different characters, fairy tale stock characters chatting in like internet chat room thing. That's a cute idea. I like that. And um, I am not reading it simply because it's becoming a film. The film trailer to me looks a little stupid. I'm not a fan of Vanessa Hudgens at all, but um, we'll see how it goes. So reading that. Um, picked up <laughs> spells by April and Pike. Because I ended up actually enjoying Wings somewhat, so I'll give the sequel a whirl. Why not? Um, if I Stay by Gail Foreman. I've heard good things about this and I've wanted to read it for a while. Looks like it'll be a quick read too, so looking forward to that. Um, I'd never heard of this one before. It's an Aussie author though, so it's just thumbs up. It's called You Know Where to Find Me by Rachel Conn. And I believe it concerns um, suicide, which is an issue that's very close to my heart. So um, let's see how this goes, but it seems to have gotten some good reviews, so, yeah, and I, I like discovering novels that I hadn't heard of before, so. Got The Dark Divine by Brie Spain. just because it's one of those books sort of like Fallen that I've been semi-interested in reading since it was released, but it's not something I would go out and purchase, so. Got that. And these have been highly recommended by almost everyone, so. Ah! Graceling and Fire by Christian Cashaw, so. Yeah, looking forward to reading these. They look pretty dense and filled with, you know, quite a detailed mythology behind the history and that in the in the narratives. But um, when I can get myself in the right headspace, I'll be delving into these, and I'm sure I'll enjoy them. So it's that, and finally, Garden Spells by Sarah Addison Allen, because I've got her novel The Sugar Queen, and that was a really sweet book. I liked that. And this is her first novel, so, yeah, it received lots of good reviews. And I think it's like, it's a magic realism sort of book. And I do like those in my, in my contemporary adult fiction, so, yeah, let me give that a whirl too. I've made a messy pile of books there. So reading, I'm doing reading in my holiday period, because we've got spring holidays at the moment in Australia. Uh, I do have books that I've purchased recently at this lovely store called Cooks Hill Books where they have new releases for $3 in really good condition and everything. It's insane. You just find random stuff in there. You never know what they're going to have. But I've picked up excellent stuff there, so um, I'm too lazy to get them down from my shelves, though. But know that I've been purchasing some books, too, even though I have no money. Uh, okay, finally, I guess I should sing. Ugh, I'm going to regret this. Okay, um... I'm a huge Sarah Bareilles fan, and she's just released her sophomore album, even though it's actually her third album, um, called Kaleidoscope Heart, and she's a singer-songwriter that I just adore, and I really want her to tour Australia, 
soon because she's doing Europe and the UK so please come to Australia Sarah I highly recommend you purchase her album The Girl's Got Skill and um, her first single is called King of Anything and it's a great pop number I love when she writes her passive aggressive numbers where she's getting a bit pissed off in them because it always ends up being some good melodies and catchy beats and stuff and I recommend you check out her version of this song because it's infinitely better than anything I could attempt of course um, so I'll link that down below in the doobly doo but um, I'll sing a quick quick spurt of it I suppose I'm gonna say that this thematically links to, to back to The Iron Daughter by Julie Kagawa which I was part one of my video thing because I do have issues with the protagonist Megan, Megan, and how she interacts with the, the men in her life in particular. And this is the sort of attitude I wish she would take. And I'm sure I'm holding out on something that's not going to happen. But if the third book could have her see this sort of change of attitude, I would be very happy. So, yeah. This is for Megan. Megan, whatever. <coughs> okay. Keep drinking coffee, stare me down across the table while I look outside. So many things I'd say if only I were able, but I just keep quiet and count the cars that pass by. You've got opinions, man, we're all entitled to, but I never asked. So let me thank you for your time And try not to waste any more of mine And get out of here fast I hate to break it to you, babe But I'm not drowning There's no one here to save Who cares if you disagree? You are not me Who made you king of anything So you dare tell me who to be who died and made you king of anything all my life I've tried to make everybody happy while I just hurt and hide waiting for someone to tell me it's my turn to decide enough Blah. if you haven't vomited or had your ears bleed, I highly recommend you go and listen to Sarah Burles' song, King of Anything. It's infinitely better than what you just heard, I promise. I'm sorry for my dreadful head voice. Okay, enough with the crazy. So that was my library hall and random singing. And yeah, hope everything's good in uh, the land of book nerds. So, happy reading, guys.